So, hello and welcome to another episode of Kiara's Tech Adventures. So today we'll be touching on coding and how you should go about um, starting to learn how to code if you're a beginner. So basically, first you need to find out the language that you want to learn. So if you want to do mobile applications, Java is a good one for that. Um, C Sharp is also can be used in mobile applications or you, it's very good for Windows applications because it's Microsoft's language. Um, another good one for web applications is JavaScript. If you want to do scripting stuff, then obviously Lua or Python are good for those. Low level um, stuff like driver software and even games are coded in C++. So basically, you might need to do a bit of research to find out what coding language is best for you and what you want to do. So I started off with C Sharp, um, mostly because it is one of the easier languages to learn. Um, you basically have a free IDE, which is Visual Studio. Well. Visual Studio Community is free, the other ones you have to pay for, but yeah, it's free. Um, the IntelliSense is very good, so you don't need to know every aspect of coding when you jump in. You can just start typing and then you can, it will come up um, basically showing what it thinks you want to use. And then you can go through each one and pick what would be best for you. So just to do a short tutorial, which you will usually find in most languages anyway, is the Hello World tutorial. So we just make a new project, call it Hello World. It's going to be a console application because it is the easiest to start off with. It's basically just a terminal window. You make it do stuff within that window. So when you open your project, you'll be greeted with this screen. Now, the main part here, this is what's going to be done, like all the code inside here, that's what's going to be done when it starts up. So you can usually find that in your .cs file, which is usually a program. Um, .cs basically means C-sharp. That's all the .cs is. So if we're going to start off our Hello World program, basically console.writeline, if I can spell, and we're putting in a string here. Now you can see, obviously, the IntelliSense is really good here. You can go up and down and see what, act, what values you can actually do. So I'll just put hello world. And every line is C sharp. You end it with a semicolon to say that's the end of the line. So if we just go through each thing, console, this is basically the class of the object that's going to come up. So when you open up, well, when you press start, a console window will appear. This is basically that object. And we are using the right line method. Anything with brackets after it basically means it's a method or a function. So it will do something. So before we start this up, just to make sure that the console window doesn't close as soon as it wrote hello well, because that's what it'll do, because we don't have anything after it. If we just do console.rekey, that means it won't close straight away. So if you just save that and start it up. So there we go. We've got our hello world in our terminal window. And it's based, this console.rekey is basically waiting for us to press a key before it will close the window. So if you just press any key, it will close. So that's the basic tutorial of most languages that you will find is how to do this hello world, how to write hello world in either the terminal window that pops up for web stuff, it will be in the console. So if you look on a web page and you press, it's usually F12. I think in Chrome, it might be like um, control shift I and it does a little console there. That's where you'll see that or it could also end up being in here somewhere. It's usually a window that says console. I can't be bothered finding at the moment because I'm not very good at navigating myself around Visual Studio. But yeah, that is the basic Hello World tutorial. Obviously, where would you go from here is probably the next question you're going to ask for C Sharp. I would recommend Microsoft Virtual Academy. There is a load of videos on there that is really good for beginners to um, basically get started within C Sharp. I think it's about 25 videos. So it is a bit of a time investment, but if you want to get into coding, obviously it's going to take a long time. So I hope this video has been informative at least. I will be doing a couple more videos as I am currently doing my own project. So. I might go through the basics of how my project works and just explain that to you guys if that's something you'd want to see. If you like this video, give me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.